Riders, I've spent the weekend in Rock de Sou. I think that's right, is it? Rock de Sou. De Sou. I have a, a French teacher here with me. Um, it's been, uh, I've been actually away on a bit of a secret squirrel event. Uh, I've been working for a, I can't really say anything at the moment, uh, but I had half an hour and I just thought I'd come out and show you guys uh, basically what was at the event and, and the standout e-bike products that I saw. Let's get to it. So this is the High Bike Enduro 5. It's got the fly-on uh, TQ motor. It's looking very beautiful. Carbon frame, carbon mainframe, aluminium chainstay. What are we talking? We're talking it's 27.25 uh, two six tires, 6,299 euros. It's got Yaris. It's got a RockShox Deluxe on it. So it's a, it's a really nice looking bike. Just at the Lapierre stand, and we're just looking at the E Zesty. This is a 160-150 all-mountain uh, enduro bike. It's coming with Fox 36 factory, and we got a X2 float, it looks like, at the back. XO drive chain they look like carbon rims carbon rims we're saying it's six seven thousand six hundred and ninety nine euros but this is this is what they're calling it like a it's an e-bike but it's more like a hybrid e-bike you can actually take out that is the that is the battery there and this is the motor and so the bike weighs in at 18 kilos with motor and battery and 14 kilos without and you can ride it with or without and this is the focus jam too this is a 150 150 full suspension e enduro bike with uh, it's got the shimano steps e8000 in it the interesting thing is that this bike has um two i think 300 or 350 watt batteries so the riding weight of this bike with one 300 watt battery is under 20 kilos it's a beautiful looking bike and i like the concept because a lot of the rides that i'm doing on my e-bike i'm not really using all the battery and i would actually really appreciate to be able to, to be able to take a little bit of weight out of it two batteries is a great idea everyone would have noticed that cannondale have released a whole new lineup of e-bikes um, you know, I don't know who's doing the new brand management for Cannondale, but they're doing a great job. These are beautiful looking bikes. This is the Habit. This is the Habit Neo 3, and it's 5,299 euros. Comes with rock shocks. I'm not sure what forks they are. Um, comes with a Fox, a rock shock deluxe at the back, uh, the same as my bike. It's actually, uh, coming with the new Bosch CX motor. So, I mean, you get an idea of how small that is now. Um, it, you know, for the price, it looks like a really nice build. Uh, carbon mainframe, aluminium rear triangle. Really like the look of this bike, and I think Cannondale are definitely kicking some goals this year. Canyon are doing a very good job this year at Rock de Thar, their major sponsor. Check out some of these beautiful bikes. They really are doing a great job. Great tent design, great looking new bikes. Let's go over to the e-bike range. We've got their top spec Spectrum. No, this is the aluminium Spectrum. Um, you know, it's showing its age a little bit, I have to say. But 
you know, I'm not, I don't really give it, I don't really care about the external battery. I mean, it's just aesthetics. And this is a beautiful looking bike. They're on the Shimano D8000 motor. It's got the Shimano, I think, 500 watt battery. You got full Fox suspension. I think it is running on 29s front and back. It's a, it's a great spec bike. And this could be the future of the road bikes. Well, especially the commuters getting in and out of town. This is the new road light from Canyon. And this is a Fuzz, Fuzzwa motor and battery. And if you see just in here, this whole section here just clips in and out. And the battery and the motor, you can ride the bike completely with or without. This doesn't have a price on it, but it is a I mean, if I still lived in London or somewhere like that, this would be my pick, man. This looks awesome. Road bike fans, this one's getting a repair, but this is a, a new look, hybrid, e-bike, road bike. And again, I'm seeing a trend here. It's got the Fuzwa, or Fuzé, or the German um, battery and motor combined. Beautiful looking. I just can't believe how compact they're making it. The whole thing combined is less than four kilos. This is another bike that caught my eye. Look at this bad boy. I think it's 27 tires, 27 normal wheels. It's running a Bros Mag S motor. Same on the Specialized Levo. Um, I think we're like, it looks like, like 160, 150 or 160, 160. It's like an enduro bike, but it's just really nice and simple. Just a great looking bike. I really like it. I'm sure it would handle like a beast on the trails. Interesting looking inside the bros motor. Let's have a look how that turns. It's actually pretty damn simple if you look at it, but very effective. And that's the whole thing in the carcass. You know, it is 2.9 kilos. It is actually pretty damn light. We're at the Bro stand. I'm just looking at the Rottweild, which is actually the old frame designer from Canyon has set up, or I'm not 100% sure, sure on the facts, but he's set up or he is the frame designer of this bike. Um, the lines are uh, reminiscent of a Canyon, um, but it's, I kind of think it's really cool how you can They've cut it open. Well, yeah, they have cut it open or they've just left the plates off. And you can just see how it all is integrated. The Bros motor is very simple, but very effective. Okay, so we're, we're looking at the new Bosch motor. It's the CX, uh, which is the performance line. And if, I don't really have to tell you too much about the motor. Just look, I can't even, oh. Okay, so this is the difference in sizes. I think this is more like four kilos and this one's 2.9. And uh, look, they've managed to make the new motor about, it looks like about 40%, 30% smaller. And we are at the BH stand. And this is their new Atom. Uh, but I'd have to say, what were they thinking? It is one of the ugliest looking bikes I've ever seen in my life. But one of my mates rode it and he said it was actually really good. Gements will always do it really well. This is Piron's bike, the world champion this year, downhill. Miriam Nicole, wow, I met her yesterday, really sweet lady. What a beautiful bike. I mean, world champion. 2019, 2018 and 19, commence are doing something pretty right with their riders and their bikes. Gotta, gotta admit, I do love their clothing as well. The, the whole brand of commence is really cool. Oh, I really like the look of that. And if you've been watching my videos, guys, this is the MetaPower SX uh, from Commensal. This is 5,499 euros. And they don't have them in stock yet. Comes with a coil shock, uh, Shimano Steps E8000, 27 normal wheels. Um, you got Lyric Ultimas at the front. 
and you got code what breaks code R's. I really, really like this bike. And if you saw my list of the pick 2019 or 20, this is still up there. I love it. Such a nice bike. Let's go over to the Meta Power. Uh, what's this? The Meta Power 29er. Very similar bike. But this is running on 29ers front and back. Same motor, uh, no coil shock. So this is going to be your all day or your, your, your enduro all mountain sort of bike. And the SX, this bad boy, this is going to be this is going to be shredding the mountains, shredding those trails, just rocking it out. I love it. Really want to try this bike. There he is, Tony, my mate. He's made it into France on the Merida, the Merida E160. Also, if you watch my videos, you know that I'm a big fan of the old E160. This updated version, it's a mullet. You got uh, 27 at the back, 29 at the front. You got Fox Float X2, uh, integrated battery, beautiful integration, Shimano Steps E8000. Um, Fox Factory 36 at the front. I think these are carbon. Yeah, the carbon rims. Your XTR four piston brakes. Beautiful, beautiful bike. And I think it's around 10,000 euros. 10,000 euros? 11,500. Uh, 11,500? 11, yeah, in France. With, uh, with a battery and a backpack, no? Yes. Spare battery. Two, by three, spare two batteries. Battery. Two batteries and a backpack, uh, 11,500 euros. It's a brand I don't really talk about very often. I don't really know much about it, to be honest, but Mustache, you know, they've been around the market for a long time and they do make great looking bikes. Looks like they're running all the, looks like all the new models. They're running the Bosch CX motor, I think. It looks like they're running that in all of their bikes. This is beautiful. Really nice looking bike. What's, what's this called? This is called the Sam Sam Eddy 29 Game 6. Bloody long name, that one. Um, but yeah, beautiful bike. Aluminium mainframe. I'll just read a bit of the stats off for you. Uh, what are we? Transmission XT 12 speed. Uh, Fox 36 performance. Freno, Frenos, uh, Brakes, Shimano 4 Pots, I reckon. Um, Maxxis tires and 160 front and back. That's a nice, uh, I'm sure this thing would bloody rip. Stopping past the specialized tent. This is definitely bike porn at its best. I like this diesel. So it's, Hard tail aluminium. It's a beautiful bike. Super beautiful. Looks pretty dirt cheap as well. No, sixteen ninety nine. Uh, it's not dirt cheap, but it's not bad either. Nice looking bike. Oh, look at this. Definitely some bling there. Look at some S Works. It's obviously a hard tail race bike. The Eps S Works Epic HT. You got some SRAM bling, carbon wheels, SRAM XX1 cranks. It's just specialized, do really do it well. All right, let's go over and find where are these bloody e bikes? Oh, look at that. There's the World Champions, the 2019 World Champions bike, Lorik Bruni, running the mullets. Doesn't look like this is the actual race bike because those wheels are stock standard wheels. I don't think you'd race on them. But this is the, the champs bike. All right. So like we've got some bling in here. The new super expensive 10,000 10,999 specialized enduro 
It's their new 29er, 170 front and back, full carbon fiber. This is running full Fox suspension, uh, full carbon rims. I mean, it's a XTR. This is the top, top, top spec bike, but 11,000 euros. And the new kid on the block, the Kinevo. And this one is the expert. I'm talking the expert, 6,899. Coming with the Bros Mag S motor, GX drive chain. Uh, uh, what do we got in here? Rock shocks, deluxe coil, and uh, we got Rock Shock boxer on the front. It actually in person is a pretty good looking bike. I didn't rate it that much when I was doing my review, but what do we got? Code R's in the front. So it is a good looking bike, definitely. And we're over here. Oh, I actually would say that the Expert is a bit prettier in person. It's, it's actually that sort of white pearl color. It's got a white pearl finish on it. Um, this one is 5,499 5, euros in France. Um, it's got Bombers Z1 to the front. You can go check my video out for all the info. Uh, but yeah, in person, quite impressive. And now over to the Levos. The Levos are stealing the show here at the Specialized Tent. We've got, that's the S-Works one. We've got another S-Works. Look at this, 11,499. 29ers, Bosch, uh, Bros, Bros, Mag S motor. I mean, it's just, this is just seriously, seriously beautiful bikes. Let's go over to the Levos. This looks like this year's models. I really like the Army Green. We're talking about the Levo, What's this one? This is the Turbo Levo. This is the Expert. So the Expert is 8,299. Um, I mean, it looks like a pretty damn good spec. You're getting Fox 36 performance, uh, performance uh, float shock. Um, it's like normal wheels, not carbon wheels, SRAM drivetrain, 12, 11 speed SRAM. Um, and you're getting code R brakes. That's it. I mean, it, it is an expensive bike, you know. It, you do get what you pay for. Let's keep on having a look around at the Levos. Levos are definitely, definitely stealing the show here. So the entry level Levo is 4,000. The entry level this is the Turbo Levo. This is the entry, 4,799. So pretty much the same price as the decoy. And you're getting an aluminium mode, aluminium frame, full aluminium frame. I mean, it's not, spec's not bad. You know, you're still getting the same, you know, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure you're still getting the same bros motor, the same battery. Um, I mean, it's pretty, pretty good. It's all right. So we're at the cube stand now, and we're looking at the Stereo Hybrid 160. I mean, this is a beautiful looking bike. It's got the Newman uh, Newman 35s on the back there, Newman wheels. These are top, top quality wheels. We've got 12-speed XT drivetrain, um, E13 cranks, and so I'm not a big fan of the E13. Um, you've got Fox uh, DPX2 factory. I mean, it's a good shop. Look at this frame, look at the detail they've gone into. It's a beautiful frame. Um, and then we've got the Fox Factory 36 at the front. This is a beautiful bike. And it is running, it is running with a new Bosch CX motor, which has a 625 watt battery, I'm pretty sure. And we're running with the four pots, uh, Four pot XT brakes. Right, it's super noisy and windy here, but I hope you like that. Um, 
I only had half an hour and I ran around to all the stands just getting a little bit of bling. Uh, you know, it's kind of my picks of the best looking, most interesting bikes at this year's Rock de Blue. Rock de Blue. Rock de Blue. I don't know how to say it. Um, anyway, riders, very short video. Hope you like it.